Okay, well what we're going to do is um, is uh, just plane down this uh, rudder spar and all this uh, fill material. I'm just using a master air screw razor plane. I've used different ones, but this is the best. And you could probably get it from Tower Hobbies. I've had this for 20 years, so but it works great. Uh, so all you do is just go real slow. There's no no rush to anything here, and you're going to use these hinge blocks and the side of the spar as your guide. So you just do this. Very slow, very deliberate. I've got the razor plane a little bit on an angle. If you skew it, it tends to uh, uh, cut a little bit better. Uh, keep a nice firm grip on the spar. And uh, this is what you do. Now, I'm not going to take it all the way down. You want to take it down to about where you got about a 30 second of an inch left. And then we're going to use uh, a 60 grit sandpaper. The reason you don't want to start out with sandpaper on something like this is you don't have enough control with sandpaper, at least a big sanding block. Uh, this razor plane uh, only does what you tell it to do and no more. By the way, you can turn things around. All you're just trying to do is just get it down to where there's about a 30 second of an inch left. By the way, this is, you don't want to knock that, what is this, R5, you don't want to knock it off. So just be careful and sometimes you can just wig it along. But whatever you do, um, just take it slow and you can feel with your fingers where you're going. You want to follow the curve of the spar. There are very few straight lines in this airplane and that's what makes it beautiful. <laughs> 